Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Emerson Sensi Light Smart Thermostat. Now, this is the light model. There's other models such as the Touch and the Touch 2. I will cover those in different videos, but right here we're going to be covering some of the basic uh, manual override, basic quick settings, and um, the back plate as well as lock and unlock in this video. And then I will go ahead and make a separate video when it comes to connecting to the Sensi app, as well as the settings menu that's accessible through the app itself. So for the most part, this is a smart thermostat and most of your settings are gonna be accessed through the smart app on your phone. Okay, so you have to download the Sensi app from Google Store or Apple Play and go ahead and install that in your phone to use it. But I wanna show you the quick functions, manual override and some of the basic uh, quick keys that are built into the thermostat if you in the event have to override it or use the thermostat uh, without the phone. So there's really not much to it. Okay, you have essentially three buttons here, the up, the down arrow, and then the mode button here in the center. So let's just start with that. The mode is basically going to give you access to heating, cooling, or off, and auxiliary as well, auxiliary heat. So in the off position, essentially is your your setup mode. Okay, so when you go ahead and, and hold down the actual three dots, you're gonna go into a setting screen. So this is for the fan setting. It's an auto, that's what we want. You want an auto, otherwise you can change it to on completely, like indefinitely on, continuously 24 seven on, as well as different increments. Okay, so you can, as you can see there, uh, percentage of an hour. Okay, but we're gonna leave it in auto. Then you have the option of Fahrenheit or Celsius for the temperature scale. That's self-explanatory, we want Fahrenheit. And from there, that's all you have for settings, okay, for manual override type settings. Uh, everything else is accessed through the, the, the app on the phone. So one way to access the other hidden menu on the thermostat is to hold down the button when it's in the setup menu here. So you, you hold down your three dots, you get to this menu here where it's showing you the Wi-Fi setup. Hold it down again or and keep on holding it. Okay, once you do that, you'll have access to some other options that are available on the phone app. We're gonna try that again. So keep on holding it down to get to the menu. As you can see, we have this new kind of feature here. It's asking for the outdoor type, which is AC or heat pump. I'm gonna select AC. This is the indoor, so furnace, gas or electric. I'm gonna type in furnace because I have radiant heat. Use the three buttons to advance. This is another selection for a six, two C or nothing. I'm gonna leave it on six. This is the um, the fan setting, then your temperature scale, and those are your options, okay? So you basically wanna keep holding that down to get to the rest of them, because if you hold down um, just really quickly, you only get to a couple of them. Let's try that again. So if you advance really quick through them, you only get two options available. But to to get the full options, you have to basically hold it down. Okay, it's a little trick to this thing um, because if you first go into it and you just click it once, as you can see, it only offers you two. So if you click into it or it shows up the setup window there, the setup page, just keep on holding it. If you keep on holding it, it's going to bring you into the full menu or at least a few more options. There we go. And then just click out of it just to cycle through, and that's the way to do it. Go back into your modes, and you're back at the main page. So what we're going to do is actually turn this thing into either heating or cooling. I'm just going to go into heating, okay? And we're going to override it. So as simple as dialing this thing up with the up arrow, 
and it's going to hold it. Now, you also can lock this out on the phone app. Now, that's a if it was locked out on the phone app, I could not access this and manually override it. As you can see, it turned on because my I set it to 72 degrees and then it's going to revert back to the ambient temperature in the room. That's the room temperature. And it might take some time for it to come up to temperature uh, depending on your heating or cooling system performance and the volume of your home is many different variables. But to manually override it, that is as simple as that. It's either up or down and just let it sit. Okay, and then you'll manually override the thermostat as long as there's no schedule being set on your phone. Okay. And then next we're going to go over really quick on the phone itself, on the app. We have the app open here. I'm just going to show you something really quick. This is not going to get into detail like my next video, but this is just going to show you the unlock and lock screen. So from the main screen for the thermostat, which is right here, you're going to go to the settings button here up in the upper right, the little gear arc icon, and then you're going to go into uh, display options, system settings, and the very first one is the one I'm talking about. So we have lock thermostat display. So we want that off. Okay, but this is going to be covered in the next video. I just want to show you where to access it because if this was not, you know, if this was turned on, we would have a problem because you would not be able to manually override it. So you have to download the app, set it up, and do all that just to unlock your thermostat. As well as if this was connected to Wi-Fi and it loses connection, guess what? If this was turned on, it would lock you out of the thermostat until your Wi-Fi comes back up to signal or you get a you know, establish a better connection or a new connection or, you know, basically reconnect. Okay. So that is a one caveat to having this connected to your phone and, you know, controlled via the app. It does take a little bit of a, you know, a connection time. I, I'm seeing about 10, 15 seconds before the settings jump over to the phone or the thermostat, vice versa. Uh, but also, Let's see what else we're going to cover in this video. So I already showed you the lock and unlock, how to access that. Uh, I also want to show you, let's see, the manual override we already did, the basic, the basic settings through the menu we already did, and uh, we're going to go now into the back plate and show you the batteries and all that. Okay, so I want to show you one more thing before we go and take a look at the back plate, and that is the auto changeover mode and how to access that. So you have to be in the off position so turn it off and then go ahead and hold down both of these buttons together the up and down arrow and as you can see there it brings up the snowflake and the flame for the heat so heating and cooling and then it's going to ask you as this is flashing for heat the little flame is flashing so it's going to ask us the threshold for heat so we're going to bring that to, let's say, 68. Okay, and then hit the, the three dots in the center to continue to the snowflake, which is your cooling. So we're going to bring that down to 72. Okay, and then you, go, you can go ahead and just like cycle through that by hitting the three dots in the center once you're all set. And that is the auto changeover how to adjust the settings or the threshold for the auto changeover. This will heat and cool automatically and it doesn't need your intervention to either bring it into the cooling or bring it into heating. One thing I do want to mention, if you want to manually override the unit for long-term use, uh, the best thing to do is actually to turn off the Wi-Fi completely. Now, as long as you're not locked out through the app, you can go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi manually, and that's as simple as holding down your mode button while you are in the off position. Okay, so go to the off position first. Nothing on the screen. Yes, I do have replace battery symbol here. Let's not worry about that right now, but make sure you're, you're in the off position, and then when you do that, go ahead and hold that down. Hold down those three dots, and now you have the little Wi-Fi symbol here, and it says on. You're going to go and toggle using the up and down, 
to off. Okay, now when you do that, you've completely shut off the Wi-Fi and this thing is like its own independent unit now. Now you can go ahead and control this thing and override it just like a manual thermostat, okay? And that will take care of you fighting with your app or losing connection um, and not being able to use your device, okay? So manual thermostat, essentially, it's the most basic you can get right now. It's not connected to any smart device. And you're just basically using the buttons, these three buttons, to control the unit. And as you see right here, there's no more Wi-Fi symbol. But if you want to go ahead and turn that back on, like I said, let's go back to the off position, off mode, and go ahead and hold down the three dots. Our little Wi-Fi symbol shows up, a little frequency symbol, and we're going to go ahead and turn it back on, okay, and then hit the mode button, and then cycle through, okay, and then we can turn it back on by hitting that mode button one more time. And as you can see, we're back to the normal operation screen. But it's worth mentioning, if you want to use it long term in a manual way, it's best to turn off the Wi-Fi. But let's continue on. So next, let's take a look at the back plate and how to remove the batteries and where they're located. A lot of people like to see this. So I'm just going to use a pick because it's easier for me to do on the bench here. So let's take a look at the back side of the thermostat. Uh, there's a lot of useful information here. You're going to have your model. You're going to have the security code here. You're going to need that if you register the, the unit and it's, and it's pre-owned. So if you bought this on eBay or whatever, I had to do this when I connected my app. I had to use a security code in order to uh, access the thermostat while I was registering it through the app. This is gonna be used for the app. You're gonna need this. It's not this barcode, but it's this one here, okay? You have two AAA batteries and your, your contacts right here for the base plate. Very simple. Uh, as you saw, the base plate comes straight off the unit. So when you pull this off your wall, you're gonna to wanna to go straight off the wall. Uh, do not angle it or skew it or rotate it in any weird way. You wanna come sh just straight off the wall and it'll unclick from the base plate okay and then the base plate I'm not gonna go over the wiring but this is your typical five wire or four wire setup but this is five wires here and I'm using this C wire adapter but I will cover this in a separate video so stay tuned for that but anyways uh, this is the base plate your mounting holes right here these slots and it has a built-in level which is nice and you have five wires so you're going to have a red wire which is for your your 24 volts for your you know your transformer and then the yellow controls the cooling the green wire controls the fan the white wire controls the heating and then the blue wire here is common which controls the the the, st the smart thermostat in order to power up a smart thermostat the c wire uh, you need to have this wire here connected because it provides 24 volts to the unit itself okay this also this red wire produces 24 volts but on, if you have another second wire here like a black or a blue that's your common and that's used for your smart thermostats to energize them up in order to power them up otherwise if you don't connect that common wire just having this red one even though it supplies 24 volts is not going to power up the unit okay you still need that extra blue or black wire but I will cover this in a separate video, installing these thermostats, each um, different series, different brands. But this is just a quick rundown. This is the back plate on the Sensi light thermostat. And it's pretty simple. It's a, it's a basic setup. So you, like I said, check out my other video if you want to know more about that. Uh, but that there is the thermostat, guys. You know check out my other video when it comes to connecting to the app and how to use that and all the different settings in the setup menu that's available through the app only. Like I said, it's very limited what you can do uh, through the actual push buttons here on the thermostat. So to expand on the settings and schedules and programming, you have to use the Sensi app, which I will cover in the next video. I will link that down below the video as well as in the upper cards on the upper right. Okay, the little white balloon that has an eye in it 
That's the cards. So click on that. You'll see a, uh, a series of related videos to this video. So, you know, check out those videos. Stay tuned for more good thermostat videos coming up. But I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. I want to thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.